Okay guys, now that we have learned how to add integers, let's talk about subtracting integers. When we look at subtracting integers, we're gonna think of it as the same as adding, put a pin here, adding the opposite. And when I mean opposite, I'm talking about the opposite sign of the second number. So if we have negative five, the opposite of negative five is positive five. And when we combine these together, we get zero. Okay, let's take a look at this example and let's talk about money. So when we have positive five, we have $5 and we take away two, we know we end up with $3. So what we're showing here is why five minus two is equivalent to five plus negative two. So when we take a look at the number line and we wanna represent the first equation, five is where we start. And since we are subtracting, we're going left. So when we take away two, we end up at the $3 mark. Now let's take a look at that with our second equation. Again, these are equivalent. Five minus two is the same as five plus negative two. So we start at $5 and we are adding a debt of negative two. And remember, negative means move to the left. So I'm gonna take away two because when you add debt, that's really subtracting, and we end up with the $3. Now let's take a look at it using our integer tiles. Here we have $5, each of these pluses represents a dollar, and it says we're gonna take away two of those. So I'm taking away two, and we're left with our $3. Again, we're gonna show how five plus negative two is the same as five minus two. So we have five, dollars, five positives, and we're adding two negatives. And now we see we have two zero pairs. So again, we have the $3. So five minus two is the same as five plus negative two. So now let's look at it as with temperature. We have negative five degrees and we're taking away, so that means go left, three degrees, so we're going down three more degrees, and we are at negative eight degrees. Negative five minus three, so we started out in negative and we decreased it three more, which means move to the left, is the same as negative five plus negative three. So we start at negative five and we're adding three negatives, which means go to the left. So our temperature is negative five and we're adding three more negatives. So again, we end up at negative eight degrees. Let's show this with our integer tiles. So we have negative five and then it says we're going to take away three positives. So how can we represent three positives? So we're gonna add in order to take away three positives, we have to have three positives. So I added a zero pair. So negative and a positive, that cancels to zero, negative, positive, zero, negative, positive is zero. So I've not changed the problem. I just made it where I could actually take away three positives. So now I'm gonna take these away and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight negatives. Let's demonstrate that in our next equation. Again, these are equivalent. I have negative five, so I have five negatives and I'm adding to that three negatives. So in all, we have eight negatives. So subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So you can see here, I changed subtraction to addition 
and the following integer, I changed it to its opposite sign. So that's what we mean by adding the opposite. Okay, let's move on down and get to the rules. So the two steps for subtraction, for subtraction, or for subtracting a problem, is to first change or convert it to an addition problem by applying the concept of adding the opposite. Sometimes, and I'll refer to this, we call that keep, change, change. Then after we do keep, change, change, which is adding the opposite, we apply the addition rules that we learned in the previous lesson. So let's go over our addition rules, because if we don't have our addition rules mastered, then we're not going to be able to master our subtraction. So when the signs are the same, we are going to add the two digits and apply the sign. So if we have two negatives and we're adding, we get negative 11. If we're adding two positives, we get positive 11. Here we have two negatives and we're adding, so we have 12 negatives altogether. And here we have a negative 5 plus a negative 8, and again, that gives us negative 13. Okay, so those are the rules when the signs are the same. Remember when signs are different, and we have an addition operation, we're going to subtract the two absolute values, and then take the sign with the larger naked number. And when I say naked, I'm talking about the absolute value. Okay, so let's look at these examples. And again, these are our, our addition rules. You can see that all of these problems have an addition operation. So signs are different, so we're gonna subtract and get a five. There are more negatives than positives, so we have negative five. In this example where we have adding, the signs are different, so we subtract. Eight is has a, there's more positives than negatives, so it's a positive five. Four minus seven is three. We have more positives, so our answer is positive. 4 plus negative 7, signs are different. We subtract the two absolute values, and we look to see which number there are more of. There are more negatives than positives, so our answer is negative 3. So that is addition, and again, let's go over subtraction. We're going to convert each subtraction problem to addition by keep, change, change, and then we're gonna apply the addition rules that we just reviewed. So we have negative seven minus four. So every time I have a subtraction operation, I'm gonna change it to keep, keep the first number, change the operation to addition, and change the second number to its opposite. This was a positive four, it becomes negative. Now, when we apply the addition rules, our signs are the same. So we add them up and apply the sign. Number 10, we're gonna say keep, change, change. So I changed the operation and the sign of the second number. Now we have different signs, so we subtract. There are more negatives than positives. So our answer is negative three. Here we have seven minus four, and we know that's three, but just to keep with changing each operation to addition, and now apply the addition rules. The signs are different, we subtract, there are more positives, so we have that positive three. Our next one, seven, keep, change, change, we get 11, positive 11. Number 13, example 13, we say keep, 
change, change. Signs are now different. We're going to subtract. There are more negatives than positives, so we have a negative 4. Keep, change, change. Signs are different. We subtract. There are more positives than negatives. It remains positive 6. Keep, change, change. Signs are different. Subtract. There are more negatives than positives, so we have a negative answer. Keep, change, change. Signs are different. We subtract. There are more negatives than positives, so we have negative 8. Okay, you finish up these problems. Make sure to read each instruction and then check your answer on the answer key. And remember guys, in unit one, we're not using a calculator.